the Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. This summer of cricket is here on KO Sports. See every ball live. Get on board and download KO Sports today. Yeah, every Monday we're going to talk to someone from KO Sports. Sort of get a bit of a roundup, find out what's happening. Cool. It's a big summer coming up of, uh, of cricket, but plenty of other sport on as well. And uh, this morning we've got Brendan Julian, uh, who's from Fox Cricket, yeah. one of the experts, joining us. Hello, mate. How are you going? G'day, guys. How are you? Good. What, Good. What, have we, it's India, isn't it? The test match, <laughs> test series against India. I always... Uh, Five, yes. Yeah, Correct. I need to refresh my memory. As soon as the footy finishes, I turn my mm. attention to the cricket. But we've got India for, for the tests this summer, yep. don't we? Yeah. Five test series against India. Third test match is up in your neck of the woods up there at the Gabba. The Gabatois. Um, prior to that, guys, it'll be <laughs> Pakistan, the three T20s and three ODIs. That's in November. And then, as you say, uh, India Test Series is a big one coming up. Oh, so we're actually going to be playing T20s and one day as before the Test yes. Series. That's a, that's a walk away from tradition, isn't it? Mm. Mate, it is. Normally we have that, you know, around about January, February, but uh, it's the way that the scheduling is and Pakistan want to come out here at that time of the year. And uh, so, yeah, it gets us warmed up. You know, hopefully that'll bleed into the Test Series. First Test match in Perth, second one in Adelaide, and then up there at the Gabba and then uh, Melbourne, Sydney. So, yeah, it'll be a big one. I mean, India are number one in the world. Australia are number one in the world at the moment. They hold the World Test Champion Trophy. But this will be a big series some some big names coming out and all the question will be about who's going to open the batting in the first test yes. match for australia have we worked it out yet no haven't we worked it out yet <laughs> um it's got, there'll, be, there'll be some big names your your man up there matt renshaw will be putting his hand up no doubt about it uh, marcus yep. harris sam constas here in new south wales i reckon he could be a bit of a front runner he's uh, really? scored 200s in sheffieldshire cricket you guys wouldn't not many people would know no. him mm. but we need an opener um kawaja definitely opening the batting um in the in this series and will he open it next year who knows but that'll be the big question mark out there at the moment mm. um brendan julian i've got a broad <laughs> uh, cricket question hello how are you going Susie, how have, are you? Good, I haven't seen you for, since 2012. Sit London, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, London Olympics. Here you but, go. And it's an Olympic question because you competed in the cricket at the Commonwealth Games in 98. And, uh, Jeez, you've done your work, yes, haven't you? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, I was there. I remember you and all the cricketers. Um, well, you were geez, staying. hang on, hang on. We're on air, remember? aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> remember you guys were staying, were staying in apartments and you guys were up the top. You're yes, in the high I rise. do, Matt. Yep. That, that, was, that was massive. That was, that was such a good time to be over there in the KL Games. We made it to the final mm-hmm. against South Africa and we lost. Yep. Um, but I think lots of uh, athletes over there are a lot more professional than what we were. Yes. Oh, well, I was, I, was, I was going to say that, that was my memory too of you guys. Um, <laughs> carrying in cartons of beer to the village, which I hadn't really seen what? before at a Commonwealth no Games. Way. <laughs> but my question that. was going to be, <laughs> Jeez. Do you think, um, what do you think about cricket coming into the Olympics? And do you think it'll be yes. here to stay? Well, I, well you know, look, they've tried it before. It's just, yeah, you're dead right. 98 mm. was the KL um, in Kuala Lumpur and they trialled it there. Coming into, I think the T20 grain would suit. I mean, the Olympics, they're really trying to <clears throat> sort of broaden it, aren't they? There's a lot of sports coming into the Olympic Games, and I think T20 cricket could happen. It, it all depends about the pitches, Susie. You know, mm. It's going to be in LA, so there could be drop-in pitches. We don't know what that's going to be like, and mm. that really affects how a cricket game sort of progresses over the, the 2020 format. So, look, I, I, I'm, I'm all for it, no doubt about it. I mean, the broader base for the game and to spread out right around the world. A lot of people play cricket, obviously. So, yeah, should be quite good. Yeah. I tell you what, the, 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 the rugby league is continuing as well. We should should mention that as well, Brendan. I don't know what your se- sort of second sport is. Uh, like it's the uh, Pacific thing. Yeah, but that, that in in rugby league, uh, the Pacific Championships that starts this Friday. Actually, yes. the Kangaroos are in action here, aren't they, Mitchell? It's double header here. Yeah, a double header. Yep. Yeah, yep. At, yep. At, women's game at, into the men's game. Yep, at Suncorp Stadium. So uh, there will be plenty of rugby league action over the next couple of weeks on KO as well. Yeah, spot on. Well, they take on Tonga on Friday and then New Zealand on Sunday. Mate, I'm Tongan. That's that's my mum's Tongan. So I'm really? in that game. Yeah, yeah. That's where you get the, you know, the dark skin and sort of easy on the suntan. So, um, oh. yeah. <laughs> you do have good I'll, skin. I'll be watching that. I'll be watching that when they take on Tonga. You got Tim Zhu up there on the um, yeah. 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 Yes. boxing. So that's big on Sunday, isn't it? He. Um, he takes on the big Russian. Yeah, well, the, the, the great thing about that Tim Zoo fight as well is it, <clears throat> you can order it on main event with KO Sports, but you don't even need a KO subscription to be able to buy it. And I was really he, – he's been uh, training for that at a camp in Thailand, mm-hmm. and I was really pleased to see that Costa 
came down. The dad? Um, yeah, from, from Russia and met up with Tim and they actually trained together and really? it was nice to see those two reunite. But, yeah, you're right. How good would it be to see mm. Tim Zoo back in the winner's circle? Yeah, look, I know the NRL and the footy season's all over, but, you know, there's plenty more coming your way in the next couple of months. Brenda, just quickly, I was happy to be... Uh, Chris Lynn just texted me. He's currently oh, in America really? playing 2020. Uh, he's, uh, I think they're playing the. He's in. He's playing for Chicago against the Atlanta Kings. And whatever's happening over there, uh, he says the wickets need some work if they're yep. going to be good for the Olympics. He said there's some teething yep. issues with the wickets over there. <laughs> well, yeah, well, he's spot on. He's spot on. Like I said, you know, someone like Lynn, he's a contract sort of player in the T20 format. I mean, he's he's a superstar, no doubt about that. And to get the best performances out of. You know, cricketers especially, as I said, it's all about the pitches. Yeah, they'll need some work, but they've got plenty of time to get it up and running. Nice. Oh, well, you can watch it, everything on KO. Footy season might be over, but there's no off-season with KO Sports, so get on board today. Great to chat to you, Brendan Julian from Tonga. I had no idea, <laughs> but you learn something every, every day. Just for you guys. Thank you, mate. See you, <laughs> See you guys. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast.